Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming and we're back with Timberborn and last time we had a few deaths, a few things, and you know, minor calamity avoided. Not really a big deal, but uh, going forward we're going to try to avoid that. From now on, let's get our HUD back. Oh god, wrong button. There we go. Uh, we still have flooded building. Yep, that's still a thing. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. I think they can only get this far. I don't know. We'll see. I'm curious to see how far they get on that, because that wall is what's stopping us from getting metal. And I would really like metal. So we could get our healers and other stuff going. But until then, let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, why is that paused? We need gears. Uh, we have three unemployed, or three job vacancies, nine children. Ash girl, what are child labor laws good for? Look at the little Lido, though. Look at the little fatties. Oh, they already left. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Anyway. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They're cutting down trees over here. That's perfect. We have a good amount of logs right there. They are still working on the Great Wall. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not convinced this will actually get done unless I create another district. We'll have to see what happens there. Hopefully it gets done. I don't want to create another district, but, you know. Maybe I can move my district center to, like, up here. A more centered location. But then all this stuff down here would have to move... And realistically, we know what we want. We we know what we want. We want this. We want the city built in the middle. Like that. Maybe I should expand it a little bit more. That's going to be so much metal, though. Anyway. Uh, building likes workers. That's fine. Oh, that's our... Is that our four? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. We, we don't need that right now. We need to deal with that. Uh, uh, building full. Okay. So right now we need metal to get to TNT. So we're kind of at a... It's kind of a bad place right now. Because until we can get TNT... We can't really do much else. We can do a little bit. And we're going to have to figure out what to do. Um, currently... So I don't know, can you, can they just harvest metal if I were just like straight up build a pathway out there, just like a road, could they harvest metal? I don't know. However, there's no metal here, metal there, none over here, here, here. I think this one has the actual mine in it under the water. Uh, if we look under the water, yeah, this one has a mine. An underground mine shaft that we'll have to figure out, too. Oh, boy. That's got metal. Metal. A little bit of water. That one has a mine shaft, too. So if we could to divert... Da -da -da -da, da -da -da dumb. If we can divert the flow of water from this to over here... Then we very well could get this mine shaft opened up very easily. Let's see, though. How's our bees going? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know the bees are unique to this faction. That's kind of cool. How's food? Food's good. Water's good. Okay. Food, yeah, last time kind of took a dump on us. Um, we have more children again. That's fine. What else can we do? How far? If I were to build a path and just keep building it... How far would it go? Oh, kind of far, actually. I wonder. See, now I'm curious. Now can I... I kind of want to build a path over here now and see if I can harvest this. Wait, this is... Oh, no. You're telling me I could have done something else this entire time. I could have dammed this up. Would cause a mass overflow. If we just dammed it the normal way, though. But it would expose all this metal and give us all this working space. Because this has no... 
Hmm. Interesting. So what if instead of this, the water flowing this way, oh, this wall is so close to being done. Uh, I say, what if instead of doing this, we just diverted the water elsewhere? Like we could have, we can move all this stuff, just build a too high dam right here. And all the water that's not, it'll just flow this way. And then this can... Mm. We lose our paper mill, but that's not a super big deal until we actually get the TNT. And that would take like no resources to do in comparison if we just deleted that path and then just deleted that one. And built some dams, landscaping, levees. Because now the water will overflow out the back here and just go off the map, which means it's not really our problem. Wonder if that'll work. Huh. Because I don't think this wall is going to work. Wall, really good idea. Waste of resources. I hate that I'm going to do this, but we're going to do this. Oh god, sorry. Yep, we're doing it. We're getting rid of the Great Wall. We'll find another way to claim this territory at another time. We will claim this territory at another time. I mean, we can leave this part of the wall up, I guess. But right now, this is going to be the easier metal to get to, and I'm just blind because I didn't realize that there's not water sources in here and that we could just overflow the entire back end of the map. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Funny how that works. We are gonna have to demolish you, which is fine. Uh, we'll get rid of all this stuff that's over here. Because clearly they're not gonna be able to use that campfire or anything ever again. <clears throat> oh, please don't build this and get trapped on the other side of it. I never even thought about that. Uh, let's delete this path really quick so they don't get stuck on that side. And we'll see what happens here. I'm just kind of curious. I would like to high pry these though. I want to leave a little gap for it to come through. That way it doesn't immediately overflow and then they can build the, that one. But I just don't want it overflowing and destroying the other stuff. All right, let's see how this goes. This is a bold plan. <laughs> We're gonna flood half the map. Oh god. Uh, there's gonna be unforetold consequences of this later on down the road, isn't there? We are gonna get so much land out of this. Even if it's not gonna be like super usable. Because all we have to really do now is just build what? We'll build our road, so we'll just... Oh god, where's the, the demolish resources? There we go. We'll do that. We'll throw in... Alright, land. There we go. Paths. So we're gonna need a two. A one. Stairs. 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 Path. Path. A one. Stairs. 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 Path. We're getting into the dangerous area of maybe it won't work, but I think it will. We'll see. Oh, a beaver got trapped. You stupid thing. 
Huh. Let's put a path there and then high priority it. That way the stupid beaver can get... Mm, these beavers anger me. There you go, beaver. As soon as that's done, you'll be done. All right, let's get back to this. So let's continue making our little path down here to the mines. They call that a mine. So we go down. That needs to get pulled up, please. As soon as that's pulled up, I'll be able to path this out. There we go. And now we just need to continue this little path over here. Yeah, sure. This. 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 And we'll see... Uh, we'll see if that gets us a little bit closer. Actually, we'll see how close that gets us. With this being built. Did our stranded beaver get out? He did. Oh, it's starting to overflow over here. Okay. Okay, we're starting to overflow a little bit. That's fine. That's why... That's, this was all part of the plan. This was part of the plan. We're gonna delete this platform and stuff. This was all part of the plan. Everything's going according to plan. Look at the water, though. It's kind of pretty. Ooh, and if we flood the lower parts right here, we can use all of this for uh, aquatic farmland. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm just going to delete all this. We don't need it anymore. There we go. Yep, this is all going to be aquatic farmland now, so we're just going to demolish all this anyway. Look, I don't even have to build a staircase for the farm. It's going to be so nice. Oh, this is going to be so nice. And now we're going to have aquatic farmland. That makes me quite happy. Very, very, very happy that that turned out the way to... Oh, I've got seven unemployed beavers. Uh, let's... Two, three, four... Now I've got three unemployed beavers. Okay. Uh, one, two. And now I've got everyone employed. We've got three days until the drought. Let's see... This is going to take a long time to evaporate. There's already beavers down here working on the paths, though. That's that's funny. They're already down there working on the paths. That's good. That's good. They're just swimming and working. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I do... I'm curious now, actually. Because I know if you flood... So, since it's overflowing over here... This actually can't be used as aquatic farmland, technically, because it's not flooded enough. Like you would need right here. So ideally, the best thing to do would be to dam this with l dams. That way it overflows at half a block. Mm. Oh well. All that matters is that this is now cut off. And my beavers, they're underwater just doing their thing. How far does that go? Oh, that's still green and they're almost down there already? Oh, we're going to get metal finally. We're finally going to have metal. This is such a much... This is just a better idea. Just a much better idea. Much, much, much better idea. While we focus on that, let's look at some other stuff we can do. I really want aquatic farmland. Which means now we have all this land to play with, right? Hmm. I'm curious. Curious. Curiosity did kill the cat. 
In this case, it's going to kill the beavers, but that's uh, not really my problem. Yeah, we'll get to that when we get to it. Let's see. How is this coming along? There's one left. And the line reaches all the way down there, which means we can put our little scavenger flag down here. And our scavenger can reach all of that. Our scavenger could probably... And while we're here, which layer is that on this one? Let's just see how far we can actually go then. Ooh, we were close. We were this close to greatness. Oh, <laughs> uh, if we could have gotten right there, we could have had a, uh, where is it? A mine. We could have had an actual mine. That's fine though. This close to greatness. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need that right now. Little small things first. Uh, this can get deleted. Eventually we'll come scavenge all this, but for now it's just going to have to do its thing. I'm also curious about this whole battery thing that I saw. What is this? A gravity battery. The higher it is built, the more energy it can store. So these essentially just run off of... Huh. So you can just have them up in a high place, and as the battery gets pulled up, uh, it uses gravity. So the more electricity you have, the higher the battery. The weight gets pulled. As the electricity in the system goes away, the weight slowly goes down, which spins a bunch of things and gives them... Uh, we have an injured beaver, and it gives them a... Uh, English is not helping me right now. Uh, it spends a bunch of little turbines and gives you generators. Gives you electricity. Gives you generators. English, not my uh, not my forte today. This is still going to take forever, but that's fine. Flooded building. That's fine. Workplace. Uh, we have three jobs. We have 14 children. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. We're soon to have metal, uh, eventually. We have metal now. We, we have built the means in which to get that. And when things become more conducive over here, we'll start doing work over here. Um, yeah, this water right here is kind of weird. We already know what we want to do in the middle right here where all of the water is coming from, but uh, where's this water going? Oh, there's the drought. So I'll see y'all in several days. And uh, yeah, let's start the drought time lapse.
Okay, we are back. The drought has ended. We still have that injured beaver. Uh, we did a little bit of work over here on the industrial area. Um, as you can see. But they all need power currently, so. Anyway, besides putting in some work in the industrial area, they have the metal finished. We just can't get it yet. Uh... No surprise there, even though we have, you know, beavers who can work, they can't work underwater. So that is what it is. Uh, eventually, this will run out of water. What runs out? Oh, those are always going to say they're out of materials. Okay. Flooded building. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. We do have 10 unemployed workers, though. So, paper mill's going. This is going. Uh... What is the the power supply is 350, the demand's 170, uh, demand is 80. Okay, so I put a smelter here and our explosive factory there, so this is really going to become our industrial industrial area, especially once we get TNT and stuff rolling and we can start leveling some of this area off and doing all that. Now let's look at some more well-being. We have a little bit of science, and there's not a whole lot we can do. Uh, we can't do medical yet. Uh, we can do a temple. What about science? A biofuel tank. Fuel. Do we have a part factory assembler and a catalyst tank? I don't know what all this does, that's the issue, and all of it requires metal. Except that one, it requires tree sap. So I think we should work on getting power figured out first. The fact that there's a whole wall here just underwater kind of bugs me, but that is what it is. You know, we still could technically raise crops here. They would just die during the dry season because it's still flooded. Hmm... We do have okay. Let's let's look at this. Let's a uh, food aquatic farmhouse. How big is stupid farmhouse? So if I build one, two, three pad, like three of these right here. Got rid of these because you can't build paths on top of them, which I think is dumb. No, we don't need these paths either. Let's mark these for demolish. Mark those for demolish, yes. We'll put in some paths here. We'll throw a aquatic farmhouse down. And that will give us access to all of this right here, which means we can... Plant all of this, realistically. Ooh, I wonder if I put a staircase down right here. Yep, now they can reach all of this. How far can you reach? Clearly right there. If I could get these marked for demolish though, for demolition. So let's see, how far can we plant? So let's start planting some... Ooh, let's get some... Do we have, we have a grill, don't we? Yeah, and they're only doing grilled potatoes right now. So what if we got another one doing grilled spatter dock? I like it. We have that. He's got nothing to do, so let's plant some spatter dock, shall we? I think that'll be enough spatter dock for a little bit. And he can plant over here. What about us though? Can we... So we can harvest all of that. So let's mark all that for... Demolish. Mark resources. All of this. And eventually someone will come demolish all that for us. Yes, 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 yes. I like it. And then we can plant some more... 
Hmm. See, now I'm thinking, though. And thinking's a bad, bad thing for me. Um, now I'm thinking. Let's put some more spatter dock down. Actually, we'll do, uh, we'll do cattails over here. Uh, we don't actually, we, we'll do cattails for now. I know we don't have a gristle, so it doesn't really matter as much, but, you know, it kind of matters to me. Okay, wait, nope, 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 wait, we gotta... From, like, right here, I think, is the no-go. Right here, right right where they're at is the no-go. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna plan something. We're gonna call it a plan, sure. Uh, I don't really know if it would be considered a plan. We're gonna figure something out. We're gonna do this, though. This one's going to be a very similar one. Um, I'm going to need them not to plant this last row. And I'm going to need you not to plant that row. And then I'm going to need these demolished. Okay, now we can do whatever you're doing. So hear me out here. We're going to do this. We're going to landscape, landscape. Uh... Levy, right? We're just gonna levy, 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 levy. Not a levy. Oh god, get rid of you. Levy until those get removed. Now, however, we don't need that there. If we take what is called a, because it's, I'm pretty sure it's unique to this faction, we can take what's called a, where is it, where is it, where is it? Water, 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 a water dump. Okay, you take a water dump here. You can put it, why can't I put it right here? Okay, well you take it, you put it like... Oh, it's because of that. Okay, that's a also pretty easy fix. What you do is you take the water dump though, and we'll cover... Once we have the water dump in place, so we'll just need to get rid of that one spatter dock too. So once that spatter dock is out of the way, we can get the other stuff over here. And now that that's out of the way, we can do this and put a water dump right here. And once the water dump is down, you do this, you take dams. And you do that. Y'all are probably thinking, like, he's a madman, what are you doing? Just, just hear me out, hear me out. The water dumps are going to do the heavy lifting of putting the actual water into where we need it. So they will keep these areas irrigated for us. So let's get a pathway here, put a path right here. We'll get this one wheat knocked out. Mark resource for destruction, you. Uh, let's high pry these guys. Can I even demolish? Them? I cannot. Okay, so we have to get rid of you first. So let's demolish that spatter dock really quick. The, okay, so we can get rid of the spatter dock first. And then I can probably put a road there already. Cannot. Okay. Regardless, once that's out of the way, I'll put a road there and... Oh, the beavers are already going crazy. 
Okay. Can I just get you like, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, beaver. All right, now we should be able to reach at least these. I don't care really about this one. That spatter dock will eventually dry out and do its own thing. Yes, I like I like where my mind is going right now. And it's a very clever, clever place right now. And then I can get another grill. We can move one of these research facilities. Probably up here. Or we can just put the grill up here for now. Let's see, can I put a grill up here? Wood, food, grill. Maybe we can just throw a grill up there. Let's just get that stuff demolished. Ain't no reason they shouldn't be able to demolish all that. We have eight unemployed beavers anyway. Might as well, might as well put them all to use. Our food is going up, our water is pretty steadily staying about the same it's because the pumps are just continuously running uh, and I don't think we'll ever stop running them that's fine as long as we have this water we're good not this water this water paper mill and everything is still going good over here so let's see they're already Hard at work, hard at work. I need these two really taken out of the way though, so I can put the stuff in plan. This, this plan, it needs, it needs to come to fruition. But yeah, this is gonna be a mirror image of that. Three days until a drought, oh no, whatever will I do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Are they ever gonna come knock these down? What is the point in me having... Oh, that is kind of annoying. My spatter dock's not gonna grow up in time. Not unless I high pry you and start throwing water at them. Huh. You know what, we'll just do this. We're just gonna... Mark resources for demolition. We'll do this one. We'll fucking. Oh, delete, delete buildings. We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of this row. This row. This row. We'll high pry. All of this. High pry that. And then for these next two days, we're gonna work 18 hour days. So let's go. Extra two hours of productivity from you heathens. Two hours worth is a lot actually. Okay, so I don't really care about these then because they're gonna end up dying on their own. But we are gonna do our levees right here to match up with our dams. And then we'll put another dam right here. And you see how this guy is dumping water into this area? It's clearly not gonna work before the uh, the drought gets here already. Cause, you know, things, but... Kinda shot myself in the foot on that one already, but... Boop ba doop ba doop. We're definitely getting somewhere now. We're starting to reclaim some land and use it for what needs to be used for, which I like. Oop, that's not what I needed you for. I need a levy. Also, now that that's there, I can delete that and put spatter dock back down. So let's put spatter dock back down here. Um, 
All right, let's get these knocked down, please, and thank you. So we can get the grill going, too. Because once we have the grill, then we'll actually have the reason for the spatter dock. Uh, until we have the reason for it, there's no reason in doing this water pump. Otherwise, we're just wasting water right now. Which is a big no-no. We all know the beaver world. All right, 0.3 days. We're going to go back to 16-hour days. We're definitely going to lose these crops, which is fine. Uh, this idea came way too late in the game for me to do anything about it, really. But it's still an idea, and it's still worth doing. the drought not that there was ever any doubt on that one and uh let's go and pause our stuff really quick actually so we can get that paper mill going and uh we did end up completing the first of the little I'm not sure what you'd call these uh, little areas where we have our floods though and we're starting to work on the second ones we are gonna prioritize uh, that beaver up there is good cool we're gonna prioritize these guys all super high uh, the corner pieces are less so but I would like to get that done before the next drought so we can maintain our little semblance over here you're gonna do grilled spatter dock my guy Yes, because now we have spatter dock. And it's not a lot, but uh, I think it's a decent amount. And it's just like this stuff over here, the cattails. I don't really care about the cattails right now, but it'll come in handy later when we're doing cattail crackers. And we've, oh my god, we're down one, two, three levels of water. Only another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go. We have a little ways to go before we can start harvesting the metal, but until then we can start expanding our little farms over here like this. And we're doing good. The beavers are doing great. We may expand our water storage soon just because we don't have enough. Maybe put some back here while we're here. Just one right now. Uh... I don't know. We'll figure it out. But thank you all for joining, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.